What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. My name is Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I talk about LGBTQ plus books. I make YouTube trends bookish and today I'm going to be sharing with you my autumn TBR. In August in my end of a summer TBR video I mentioned how I am changing my TBRs up and they are only going to be seasonal from here on out. So today I'll be talking about the books I want to read in August and November. Indigenous is in November and they just put out the challenges but I will have a specific TBR for that. So I am just going to talk briefly about the books I would like to read and for the readathons I actually have a whole blog post up on my website where I share a cohesive list of books I want to read but in this video I'm going to touch on some because it is Latinx Heritage Month which started on September 15th and ends on October 15th and I want to just talk about some books I want to read for that and some books I want to prioritize for the spooky season and I'll be sharing my Readerama TBR. So if you enjoy this video give a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what book you're looking forward to reading in October and November. Let's get started. First I'm going to talk about my Readerama TBR. If you missed it I have a whole announcement video where I talk about the spooky weekend for Readerama. It is going to be happening from October 15th to October 17th and here are some of the books I will be reading. So the first book I'll be reading for Readerama is Stand Up Yumi Chung by Jessica Kim. This is a middle grade about a girl who likes comedy. She wants to do her own stand-up show but she's very shy so I imagine it is about her overcoming her stage fright. I am so excited to read this. It covers the challenge to read a book with fall colors on the cover because this is red like fall. Next is Dead White Writer on the Floor. This is actually a play and it covers the challenges to read a short book by a BIPOC author. This is a play by an indigenous author and it is 112 pages and it covers the challenge to read a book with a spooky word in the title as dead is my spooky word. I don't know where this book went. I am refilming this video. I've already filmed it once before but I didn't like how it turned out so here I am refilming it but I don't know where this book went in that time. So this is Imaginary Borders. It is one of the Pocket Change Collectives and this is for the challenge to read a book with Rama in the title or author. Rama is in the title. So that is my Readerama TBR. Don't forget to tag us at Readerama on Twitter and Instagram and use hashtag Readerama so we can see all of your posts. If you have a TBR let me know in the comments and I will go watch it because I love just seeing what everyone else is going to be reading. Before I move any further let's talk about the books that I'm currently reading because I am currently reading four. I started the audiobook of The Proposal by Jasmine Guillory. I think I started like two chapters of it and then just never got around to finishing it. I have my arc of A Touch of Ruckus by Ash Van Otterloo and I am enjoying this and I'm gonna finish it this month. I'm 56 pages in. It's spooky. It is so good and I'm excited to finish it. I also started Six Angry Girls on the plane to LA and I just haven't finished it and I think it's just more so because it's not what I wanted. Um, I was reading it for book research and it didn't give me what I wanted but I am enjoying it. I want to recommend it in a future book recommendations video so I need to finish it out so I can see if I want to recommend it or not. And I have a whole vlog coming about the Slapshot Readathon, the readathon that I hosted a couple weeks ago and basically I just got burned out so I'm going to talk more about that in that video but I need to finish Anna on the Edge as well. Basically I just am in a reading slump. So now that that's all out of the way let's talk about the books I want to read for Latinx Heritage Month. Most of these are sports related and so I want to read Furia. I saw Audrey from Perpetual Pages recommend this in their recent video. If you like this try that Latinx Books Edition. So I'll have that video linked and I want to read it for Latinx Book Bingo because there are a couple prompts that it fulfills. And I also have the Dreamweaver which I can't talk much about because it's also for that same book recommendations video. But I can talk about 
1500 miles. A lot of my trans booktube friends have been loving this book and I am just so excited to read it. It's by a non-binary author and it is basically about a boy who comes out as gay on Twitter by accident and then whatever happens after that. My copy does not have anything but blurbs on the back so I can't tell you what it's about but I've heard enough about it that I want to pick it up and if I read one book for Latinx Heritage Month I really hope it's this one. So those are just a couple books I want to read for Latinx Heritage Month. Like I said you can see my blog post for more information. I have a lot of my TBRs there but I want to read When No One Is Watching for Black Oween, which is hosted by The Locked Booktician, and I'll also have that link down below. I was meaning to get to this in February and I didn't, so I am making it mandatory to get to it this month. Besides When No One Is Watching, I also want to read Blood Like Magic by Lizelle Sanbury for Black Oween, and I'm choosing this as I'm choosing this for the challenge read a book by an underrated author mainly because it's her debut novel and I want to read her book because I saw a TikTok of her. How I come up with my book ideas blood like magic edition. I'm so bored of this nano book. A uh, new book idea? Yes. Oh my god. We had that idea about the girl in the bath of blood and the family of black witches. I love that. And now where should we set it? We should set it in Toronto. Yes, set in Toronto. Oh my god, I miss Toronto so much. Um, and then we're gonna have a big blended family, like my family, that's probably pretty good. And set in the future for fun? I love that. Need big stakes. Uh, maybe her family might lose their magic and she has to kill a boy? Yes, oh my gosh. Should she be in love with that boy? Ugh, I hate those sorts of established relationships. Um, has to fall in love with the boy? We like that. And how does the magic work? Blood and stuff? So that is what made me want to read this book and so I am trying to get it from my library and I definitely want to read it because it's an urban fantasy about black witches and it is totally out of my comfort zone but it just sounds good and I want to read it. And the last book I want to shout out is Dear Haiti Love Elaine by Mayika Muli and Maritza Muli. I have heard a lot of great things about this. That is for the challenge to read a book with Caribbean and or African diaspora representation. So those are some of the books I would like to get to this autumn. Definitely going to roll over in November as well. I don't have a lot of plans for reading in November besides Indigathon and the hosts Michelle and Bear just posted their announcement video so I'll also have that link down below. One book that I want to get to is Call Me Indian by Fred Sasakamus. This book just came out this year and when I was looking up the pronunciation for his name I just found out that he died due to COVID-19 which is so sad rest in peace um but he was a trailblazer in the NHL for indigenous people and I just ended up reading um Jordan Tutu's story and he was another indigenous hockey player and so I'm glad that we're getting more stories like this so I'm really excited to read that one and I'll have a link to it down below if you would like to read it as well or just look at it. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what book you're looking forward to reading this fall, this Halloween, or if it is spring for you, let me know what book you're going to be reading for spring. Thank you all for watching. I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me further. Hit subscribe if you haven't. I'm trying to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I would love if you would join my community. I will see you next time with another video. I hope you're having a great day and staying safe and I'll see you next time. Bye.